more pulling power than it. Trouble here at Homestead for the championship leader, Kurt Busch. Right front flat, you heard it from the man, Kurt Busch. And he's on the apron of the racetrack, Kurt, not too fast because you can't control it. Bill. Spotter tells the crew, coming to you just as fast as you can blink your eye. Oh, and he loses the, the wheel. Down. Wow. Or loses the tire. And he just missed Clover in the end of that wall. That's going to be a caution. That's actually good luck for him. A long way to go, though, to get to his pit stall, the number one stall, all the way at the end of pit road. They are ready for him. They are on the wall. That's the wheel in there, isn't it? Is the lug, did the lug nuts come off? It looks like the whole right wheel right came right off. The and they're grinding, grinding that suspension, dragging it down the pit lane while he's running there. Let's see what comes off. The center. There's the center. He just took off with the wheel. Wow. And you know what? I, I think that the tire's still going. The tire over there. I believe that he stayed on the lead lap. He's out ahead of the pace car, Benny. Watch, watch if that tire turns. And I believe the whole wheel came off. It just busted right out of the center. What causes that? <laughs> I don't know. I, there you go. Yeah, the wheel, center is gone. What normally causes that is loose lug nuts. And the thing working back and forth. But he never complained about a vibration. That is really strange. And he did stay on the lead lap. Wonder how much, what damage he might have done with all that stuff dragging down pit road, though. Brake rotors. Yeah, you got tie rod ends. There's a lot of things. <laughs> exactly. You got a big, heavy race car that's just grinding all those pieces as you're trying to work your way into the pits. We're on the lead lap. You can pit this time. So now Kurt's back in 28th place, and there's the championship picture all of a sudden. Hey, you, uh, we've been saying it all along. It can change at any second. Was blow, dude. I just had that feeling. It was vibrating in here. Okay, there it he did like say it was, was vibrating. Loose, but there, it just it had. Yeah, so he did notice it. I think loose lug nuts was the culprit there. That's when he talked about, remember when he went back out after they pitted, that's when he talked about, I don't like the way the right, right front feels. Wow. Here they come to pit road. Stops at lap 94, Marty. Your leader, Greg Biffle Allen, said maybe we can free it up a little bit on this stop. He will be top of your screen. What they're going to do is a half pound at the left rear tire and a half a pound of wedge. Four tires, small changes for the 16 team. They're very happy, just a little bit tight. Matt? Jeff Gordon had to pull around the 12 of Newman. You can see the orange tape on the pit box. That was where they put the sign to help the 48. Four feet back from where they normally have it. Track bar and wedge to help the tightness, Bill. 48 car just a little bit tight. Kurt Busch pulls way up in his pit stall. That will help Jimmy Johnson, who's pitted behind him. Johnson leaves behind him. Now they go to work on the 97 of Busch. They've already changed the right side. They changed the right sides again. Work on the right front fender. Then they come around to the lefts and put on the left side. So Kurt was aware that right front was bothering him. Then it went. Now they pull the fender, the sheet metal, away from that right front tire. Kurt very calm, very patient on the radio. They're going to try and beat it out with a hammer. They've got a tape bandage ready to slap it up there on the right front if they need it. They want to make sure that sheet metal is not rubbing against that tire when he goes back out on the racetrack. Now and the question is going to be what caused that. And Bill, they've got to be concerned that the fender doesn't grab too much air as it goes by and acts as a parachute. So the first exclamation point moment on this day in the chase for the championship, Kurt Busch, lap 91, his right front tire, the wheel breaks. He narrowly misses the end of pit road, but he is still on the lead lap. Kurt Busch's chance to win this championship almost came to a smashing end against the end of pit wall. Watch how close he gets to the end of the pit wall here. Wheel lead right here. What was it? A foot? No more than a foot. I would say inches on that Man. one. I'll bet the under there. Yeah. Man. But Kurt stayed on the lead lap. He's back in 28th place with a chance to rally. It's not over. He's just got a hole to dig out of. By the way, Marty Schneider made a great point to us during commercial from down on pit road. He said if that wheel had not gone out on the racetrack from Kurt's car, then the caution probably wouldn't have come out. He'd have gone a lap down making the tire change. Exactly. Or more. So I guess now the question is how much damage? That's the key. How much damage has he done? 
Is the car still driving as well as it did before the tire came off? We have a camera on Kurt. We'll keep an eye on him. We have cameras on Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon as well at all moments throughout this race. Also watching closely Mark Martin and Dale Jr., the five contenders uh, in this chase for the championship. Now Gordon lost a little bit of ground just before that last caution. Now he's got some ground to make up if they if they successfully adjusted that car. Making some up right there. Just went past Harvey. So put Gordon to fourth. Tony Stewart to third. And Jeff Gordon in the 24 car just closes in right on the back bumper of Tony Stewart. So do we think that uh, Gordon knows what's happened in the 97? Oh, yeah. If the way he's driving, he knows. Because he look, appears to be more aggressive now than ever. Jimmy Johnson, Mark Martin locked up in a fight for position. Johnson is seventh, Martin is eighth. And there's Kurt. He's got to go through what Jimmy Johnson went through earlier today. Try to work his way back through that traffic. Bill, what's he saying? Is the car okay? He hasn't said anything since they went back to green. But I want to show you something, Benny. This is a tire, a wheel down here in the 97 pit. This part right here, this flat part in the center of the wheel, minus the lug nuts, this part is what they took off the car, only there was a chunk of it missing. It's like a donut that somebody took a bite out of. Now that piece that they're missing is actually on their pit box here on pit road. Jimmy Fenning has it wrapped in a towel and has his foot on it laying on the floorboard of their pit box. This was his conversation with Kurt Busch after they got the car back out on the track. Uh, the wheel was tight, I think the wheel broke, but it don't show any signs of that wheel like he didn't have the lug nuts tight, Kurt. Uh, but the wheel just broke. 10-4, I guess we get to buy all new wheels next year. Yeah, we do every year anyway. Well, maybe we'll buy new wheels starting at Loud for the final 10 next year. And that's Kurt Busch. He gets a lot of flack for the way he talks to his crew, but he has a sense of humor and a wit you have to come to appreciate. I talked to Jimmy Fenning, his crew chief, about this this morning. He says that's the kind of athlete you want in your car. You watch any other sport, these athletes get upset because they're not doing perfectly. That's the guy he wants up on his wheel. You know, and i got to believe, Jimmy Fenning, that the studs are not injured on that, that the, uh, the lug nuts were, in fact, tight. As we see Mark Martin trying to pass Jimmy Johnson. If those lug nuts were loose, it would have ground up those studs. Right. And it has been a lot of work repairing that. Marty? BP, this is the part of the run where Mark Martin's car is very good. It takes off well, but the thing Mark wanted, it got too tight too early for Mark in the run. So they made air pressure and a wedge adjustment on the last stop, trying to get Mark a little bit looser. But you can see he's a little bit faster than Jimmy Johnson right now. So Mark up to seventh place and Jimmy back to eighth. Meantime, let's check on Jeff Gordon. He's running fourth, Matt. Alan, to answer BP's question, Jeff Gordon came on the radio when he saw the caution. So why are they throwing the caution? There's nothing on the racetrack. Robbie Loomis quietly said, it's the tire from the 97. That's all they told him. He said, oh, this car has been tight all day. They went back on the air pressures, BP. Tried to make this car freer in the center of the corner for Gordon. That's a concern that most teams have had right there. The car does not want to turn properly, wants to continue going straight ahead. And that's a problem because there's a wall there. Uh, yeah. So Jeff Gordon running in fourth place now and leading the championship as they run in the race. But we've got a long way to go. Our Wendy's race menu. The uh, championship trophy will be passed out in a couple of weeks at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York City. See the awards ceremony live on TNT Friday night, December 3rd at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And then a recap of the awards ceremony on NBC December 5th at 2 Eastern Time. Tony Stewart taking second spot from Ryan Newman. And Dale Jarrett, the 88 car, passed all those cars to get the next car behind Greg Biffle. But Jarrett is two laps down. Let's check those championship standings as we approach uh, just past actually 150 miles in the race. How about that? See, Kurt's not out of it. He's got a lot of time to try and get back to the front as well. The drama's going to build to this one right until the very last lap. Greg Biffle leads. Homestead, Florida, side of the final race.
race of the 2004 NASCAR Next Talk Cup season, the race that will decide the championship, the Ford 400. It's been some uh, trouble. What's up? Got one up in the wall in turn two. Jeremy Mayfield. Sure looks like right front tire trouble, doesn't it? And his teammate just hit pit road with left front tire problems. Blown tire, that's obviously the result of a blown right front tire. Because the car is still running. He's driving it toward pit road. So this would be the fifth caution of the race. Let's uh, talk hey. a little strat. Go ahead. Well, first of all, you got a lot of worried crew chiefs on pit road right now. Because we obviously have a lot of tire situations. So people are going to have to start adjusting to help that. Try to help that tire out. Well, Looking back from point. Michael Walter. See it go down. The, you saw the car drop. Going in the wall behind. The car drops like that, that this tire went flat. When you drag it back around to the garage, things get hot. Yeah. yeah. Let's see how many of the leaders pit here and if anybody makes a strategy play to stay out. I don't think with tires blown, anybody's going to make a strategy call to stay out. So only pitted at lap 94. It's not even 20 laps ago. But you're right, Wall. Here they all come. So Greg Biffle, Tony Stewart, Rusty Wallace, Jeff Gordon, Ryan Newman, the uh, top five. Mark Martin, Jimmy Johnson, sixth and seventh. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is tenth. And Marty Snyder's got the leader's pit stop for us. And that would be Greg Biffle out on the call. We talked about it in the Discover Card countdown to green. Triple Indy. The gas man will go over, help the guys make the stop. It worked for Kurt Busch last week. A very fast stop they had. Greg Biffle hoping it works for him today. Four tires, no changes. Matty? Jeff Gordon had climbed to the third, then faded back to fourth. They feel like they're making big headway on the handling of the race car. It's still too tight. They're going to go up again, Bill, on the track bar. Jimmy Johnson is on pit road. His crew chief asked him if the car was okay. He said it was fine. He races Gordon off pit road. No changes. The 97 crew doing a pit stop. They call the Darlington deal. Now, they've, now they're waiting on fuel. They're waiting to top off the fuel. This is not what they were hoping for. They, it did not go smoothly. Now they're going to come around and now they're going to go ahead and change left side tires. So they were trying a different type of pit stop here. It didn't work out. Losing a lot of positions on pit road. They'll make sure they get it right and then they'll send it back out. Wow. Now the 38 got out awfully quick. They may have taken two. And Ryan Newman got out ahead of him, Wally. While Kurt Busch's crew is going to regroup. Caution just past 150 miles in the Ford 400 at Homestead. We'll be back.